Hey there, fellow designers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to dive into Fusion 360 and learn how to design and assemble a universal joint. Universal joints are used in various applications from automotive to industrial machinery and they're a great way to transfer rotational motion between non-aligned shafts. So let's get started. Let me give you a playback of the workflow here. Okay, so let's start with a sketch on the front plane. That'll be a circle. 96 millimeter diameter. One more of those with a 24. Then a line. I'll first draw that here and then make a coincident relationship to the origin. Finish that sketch and go into our first extrude. So that'll be that inner circle with um, a distance of 82 millimeters. And let's make that a new component. Keep that sketch visible and make a revolve of that section around um, that axis. OK. And then let's make a chamfer here, four millimeters. Accept that. Then create a plane, an offset plane from that face, going in that direction with minus 16. We can hide that sketch for a moment. And draw on that plane, projecting that edge and that edge. Finish that sketch and let's just extrude an extruded cut. Um, symmetric with an overall measurement of 12. All right. So um, I'll make that sketch visible again. All right now, let's make. Um, a circular pattern of features. Um, take that extrusion, that chamfer, and that last cut around that axis four times. Make that identical. Accept that. So that is our component here. Let's rename that here Spider Sphere and give that some appearance. Let's have a look. I'll get into Fusion 360 appearances into the paint folder, powder coat rough, and I'll take this one here, close in that folder for now, hide that sketch, and that is this for the first part. Okay. 
let's continue with the yoke. For that, I start a sketch on the right plane, project, pressing P, that area here, and that line. Continue with the center point rectangle. I'll zoom in here. Make that line coincident here and over there. And make that constrained vertically with uh, the origin. We don't need that line, really. And give that a length of 48. And then let's go into the slot. Um, center point arc slot. Okay, I'll position that here. Somewhere here, somewhere there. Like this. Now let's make that coincident here. Constrain that horizontally. Um, those three points at the origin, the center, and that edge, and that point. And then again, those here those three. Then one last coincident relationship. And let's make a rectangle here that can start um, here. Go here, give that a dimension from the origin of 222 and uh, width of 12. Um, finish that sketch. I go back into the extrusion. Again, symmetric. Make that a new component, overall measurement of this, 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 and that. Those um, 36, new component. All right. Let's have a look at that. So that is one arm of our yoke. Let's change that name. yoke. Let's give that component right away a distinctive color, that yellow, yeah. And hide that sketch for a moment. Apply a fillet of that edge and that one with 18 millimeters. And sure, there is no cut in here. Let me hide that sphere. So let's do some multi-body modeling with the Boolean combine command. So we will cut. The target body is that. The tool body is this. We'll keep that tool and accept that. And now we get that hole. All right, let's make that sketch visible again. And mirror that part over that plane. All right. And then make a revolve of that region with that axis. 
joining our body and our yoke is ready so um, let's make one disc here just to for our yoke to be attached to some grounded component I'll go into the sketch command take that face project that edge make a circle here and I mentioned that 122 finish that sketch and make our last component here extrude that region here no join new component and maybe some 22. Okay. Let's apply uh, some different um, appearance to that. Maybe that powder coat rough dark gray. Give that a, a chamfer. that edge, that one, four millimeters. All right. Rename that disc. And so um, we got those three components here, spider sphere, yoke, and disc. Those are free to move around this moment. And now let's apply those joints after we ground one body, this disc. Right click, go to ground, capture that position. All right, there it is. Now let's key J for joint. Take that face, take that face. Look at what kind of motion, rigid. No, we don't want that. We want revolute. And we'll get a preview of what that does. Accept that. And do that one more time. J. I'll take this edge and that one. And sure. Our spider is rotating around that axis. Good. Now, we want one more yoke. So, um, let's go to the, comp the component. Go to copy. Go to... Um, control V to insert it in our assembly. Now we can move that with those arrows. We can look at it from above, rotate that, and then rotate it once more like this. So it's in pos position for connecting it with a revolute made to our um, sphere, our spider. I press M, choose component, that one, and rotate our sphere like this. And now again, J, take that edge, take that one, accept that. And now those 
two are connected. Next, I'll go to disk, go to copy, go to control V, move that over here, press J, take that edge, take that one. We still got the revolute motion. Accept that. Now let's change the position of that axis. I press M, take that disk, take that origin and just pull down. Accept that. Now we need to fix disk number two in its position. Go to ground, capture this position. Go to Revolute 1, right click, go to Animate Joint Relationship, and that's how you design and assemble a universe, universal joint in Fusion 360. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on my future design tutorials and tips. I'm constantly sharing valuable content to help you level up your design skills. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.